Introducing a breakthrough in quantum computing, the Majorana One. A new approach that ignores the limitations of current models to combine the power of millions of potential qubits all working together to solve unsolvable challenges in creating new medicines, entirely new materials, and helping our natural world. All on a single chip. The Majorana One. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Get ready, because today we're diving deep into a monumental breakthrough in the world of quantum computing. We're talking about something that could redefine the future of technology as we know it. Absolutely. Microsoft has just announced something truly groundbreaking. They've created the world's first quantum processor powered by topological qubits. They're calling it Majorana One. And it's not just an incremental step, it's a giant leap forward. We've been following the quantum race closely. And this is big news. Exactly. For those who are new to quantum computing, let's break it down. Quantum computers are designed to be exponentially more powerful than the computers we use every day. They achieve this by using qubits instead of the bits that power your phone or laptop. Bits are like light switches. They can be either on, one, or off, zero. Right. But qubits are much weirder and much more powerful. Thanks to the magic of quantum mechanics, a qubit can be both one and zero at the same time. This is called superposition, and it's what gives quantum computers their incredible potential. Think of it like a coin spinning in the air. It's neither heads nor tails until it lands. But here's the problem. Traditional qubits are incredibly fragile. They're like delicate bubbles, easily popped by the slightest disturbance. Heat electromagnetic radiation, even just observing them can cause them to decohere, losing their quantum properties. This has been a major roadblock in building practical quantum computers. And that's where Microsoft's Majorana One Foot and its topological qubits come in. These aren't your average qubits. They're built using a completely new state of matter that Microsoft engineered, a topoconductor. It's like they discovered a new element, but instead of finding it in nature, they created it in the lab. This topoconductor allows them to achieve something called topological superconductivity. This creates what are called Majorana Zero Modes, or MZMs, at the ends of tiny nanowires. These MZMs are the key to the whole thing. They're quasi-particles, almost like particles, but with special properties. They're incredibly stable. Think of it like this. Imagine trying to store information on a single loose thread. Any little tug and the information is lost. But what if you braided that thread with other threads? It becomes much stronger and more resistant to being pulled apart. That's the basic idea behind topological protection. The quantum information is encoded in the braiding of these MZMs. And for almost a century, these MZMs were purely theoretical. Physicists predicted they could exist, but no one had ever actually seen them, let alone controlled them. Microsoft can now create and manipulate them on demand. That's a huge scientific achievement in itself. So, how does the Majorana 1-inch processor actually use these super-stable qubits? This is where it gets even more interesting. They use a technique called measurement-based quantum computation. Traditional quantum computers manipulate qubits by applying very precise pulses of energy, like carefully rotating them through specific angles. This is incredibly difficult to do accurately, and it's very sensitive to noise, which, as we discussed, leads to errors. Microsoft's approach is fundamentally different. Instead of directly manipulating the qubits, they perform calculations by measuring their properties. It's like figuring out the answer to a question by observing the system rather than directly controlling it. These measurements are activated by simple digital pulses, on-off switches, essentially, which is far easier to control than the complex analog signals used in other quantum computers. This has massive implications for error correction. Error correction is essential for quantum computers because of that inherent fragility of qubits. It's like having a built-in system to constantly check and fix any mistakes that creep in. With traditional qubits, error correction is incredibly complex and resource-intensive. It's like constantly having to rebuild that house of cards in the wind tunnel. But with topological qubits and Microsoft's measurement-based approach, error correction becomes much simpler and more efficient. 
Microsoft has developed custom error correction codes that are a tenfold improvement over the previous best methods. This means they can achieve the same level of error correction with far fewer physical qubits. This is crucial for scaling up to the large number of qubits needed for practical applications. And the importance of this breakthrough hasn't gone unnoticed. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, the folks who brought us the internet and GPS, have selected Microsoft for the final phase of their quantum computing program. This is a huge endorsement. DARPA is all about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and they're betting on Microsoft's topological qubit approach to build a fault-tolerant quantum computer, a machine that can run complex calculations reliably, without being crippled by errors. And they expect this to happen in years, not decades. So let's talk about the potential impact. A truly powerful, fault-tolerant quantum computer with, say, a million qubits, which is Microsoft's goal, could revolutionize, well, everything. We're talking about solving problems that are completely beyond the reach of even the most powerful supercomputers we have today. Think about designing entirely new materials with incredible properties like superconductors that work at room temperature or materials that can repair themselves. Or imagine revolutionizing medicine by allowing us to design drugs with pinpoint accuracy, targeting specific diseases at the molecular level. We could develop more efficient fertilizers to boost food production or create new catalysts to combat climate change. The possibilities are truly mind-boggling. And of course, there's the potential to break existing encryption, which has significant implications for cybersecurity. This is more than just a technological advancement. It's a paradigm shift. It's like going from the abacus to the computer, or from the horse-drawn carriage to the automobile. Microsoft's Majorana 1 and their breakthrough with topological qubits represent a crucial step towards realizing the full potential of quantum computing. It's a testament to the power of fundamental research, the importance of long-term vision, and the incredible ingenuity of scientists and engineers. It's a truly exciting time to be alive, witnessing this scientific revolution unfold. Absolutely. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the potential of quantum computing? What problems do you hope it will solve? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth explorations of cutting-edge science and technology. We'll be keeping a close eye on Microsoft's progress and the exciting developments in the quantum realm.